Libraries of all types use a catalog to organize their materials, but each library selects a system that works best for their collection and patrons. The ISU library began using a new system during the summer of 2018, and you will need to use it to select two books on your research topic. Make sure you choose the library catalog tab. Then I suggest you do a subject search. Just enter the main topic for a subject search. The next screen will be a list of subject headings with subdivisions. The terms in blue are active terms. You can click on any of them to get a list of titles with that subject heading, and on the right is the number of titles with that subject heading. The terms in black are not used in the library catalog, but for most of them there is a suggested term to be used instead. Also, notice that some terms have a brief definition for the term, since there are many words in the English language that have several definitions. The term I searched, college readiness, is not included in the subject headings, but there are many terms dealing with college, and you can review them to see if anything might be helpful. However, since my term is not included, I can click on search by words for a keyword search of those terms. A keyword search looks for the terms anywhere in the record, such as in the title, the publisher name, subject headings, or even the table of contents. There are 70 titles in the results for a keyword search of college readiness, and on this screen are the first 50. That is more than I can show you on one slide, so I'll just show you a few features. First. Notice that the titles are listed by relevance, although I could choose to sort them by date or title. Sorting by date puts them in reverse chronological order, with the newest titles at the top. For each title, there is an icon to label it as a book, and if a picture of the cover is available, the library puts it near the title, which is hotlinked in blue. The publisher and the year published is below the title. Print books will have the request button available, and you can have it sent to Idaho Falls or mailed. Ebooks and other resources available via the internet have a website, and you can click on that to access the title. No need to request those. At the top, there is a drop down menu. You may use this to limit to titles in the main book collection at the ISU Library in Pocatello or you can limit your results to the electronic resources. Also, notice that there is a small box just above the book icon. You can check it to put titles in an electronic book bag for later review. Make sure you choose a book, not a government document. We will talk about those later in the semester. To look at more information about this title, click on it. This is the complete record. First, notice the words searched are highlighted in red. Make sure they are used in the context intended. Also, for the works published since the 1990s, the titles of each chapter are provided in the contents section. The subject headings are useful to decide if the title is appropriate for your research, and they are hotlinked so you can find a list of titles with that subject heading. Since this title is an ebook, you can click on the link above it to access it. You will need to log in with your ISU identification number and last name. Each ebook is different, but let's use this as an example. Notice that the title information is close to the top, and sometimes you can download the whole book. This one is part of a series, and you can download each chapter, which are written by different authors comparable to articles in a journal. Return to the library catalog, and at the bottom you can change to Encore Search. This is also listed in the library databases on the ISU homepage. This system has the same titles in the library catalog, but the searching system is more like a periodical database, using keyword search without the Boolean operators. This system may seem more user-friendly. It is similar to the catalogs of many public libraries. 
First, enter your search terms. The 70 titles in the results should be the same titles found in the first search in the library catalog, although they use different programming systems to search for the titles, so they are in a different order and highlight different features. The main section with the titles includes a photo of each title if it's available. Again, the titles are listed in order of relevance, although you can list them by author, date, or title. On the left are facets to limit results to the most useful titles for your research. You can use any or all of them to limit results, but when you click in a box, the limiting happens promptly. You might find it more helpful to click on More below any facet category. That will bring up the entire list for that category, and you can choose several. For example, in the subject and tag facets, I clicked on More, and this has all the subject headings or tags used to describe these titles, and it will be useful to choose three or four subjects or tags that will limit the results to those titles described with those tags or subject headings. I chose the titles dealing with student success, and with only 18 titles, it is much easier to select the relevant titles for my research. Notice the gray box on the left has the subjects and tags that I selected. I could click on the X next to any of them to delete those limitations. Also, notice that just below the gray box, I can continue to use facets to limit the results further by date, geographic area, and so on. The titles that have requested are print titles that can be checked out, and the electronic resources have available online below the citation. When you click on the title, the complete record is on the next screen, although in a different layout than the previous catalog record. The citation information is at the top with the graphic of the title, and the call number is provided with the status of availability. Notice that the keywords entered to locate this title are highlighted, and the contents lists each chapter and the author. The subject headings are listed and hotlinked. These are the controlled language subject headings. At the bottom, you can bookmark the record for later review by looking at your cart. At the top, notice that you can request this title email the record to yourself, or get citation assistance by clicking on these icons. Also at the top right, notice that the next title in the results list is in the Browse Results box. Or you can go back to Results and continue through the results list. Let's click on Request. The next screen asks for your ISU login information. And the next screen has the request form. The default setting is to select a pickup location. Choose one that is most convenient for you. Items held at the main ISU library in Pocatello will be at the circulation desk just inside the front door. Titles to be picked up in Idaho Falls will be delivered to the ISU library in Idaho Falls in the Tingy Administration Building or the TAB in about two business days. Titles to be picked up in Meridian will be at the ISU Library in Meridian in four to six days. Make sure you bring your ISU identification card with you when you pick them up. This week you will need to select two books and I suggest you use both systems and note your steps in your search statement. Be specific about your search terms and the facets used. I will use your notes to locate your sources. For your score assessments, you will assess one complete book for a source on your topic, and the other assessment will be for one chapter from the other book. Use the table of contents to help you decide which chapter will be most helpful for your research. There is another video about citing your book sources. If you want to get assistance from me or library staff to cite or locate your books, that is fine. We are available for you.